Welcome back to It Resolves in another historic event. Today, we are gonna be playing Jund Casualties. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Here at It Resolves, we love to play new decks, have some fun, and hopefully learn a little something along the way. Today, we got something a little special for you. This is something that I've been kind of piecing together a little bit uh, over, the la the, uh, over the course of the last week or so. Uh, and it's really based on a shell that we've already seen, which is the Mizzix Mastery shell. You're ramping in, you're discarding a lot of really powerful stuff, but Ideally, uh, you're hopefully in this case going to be playing things like Casualties of War, which is one of my favorite cards, actually. I really love this card. Uh, six mana, you choose one or more. You can choose all of these. Uh, destroy an artifact, creature, enchantment, land, and planeswalker, or in any combination of those. Uh, and so the idea is basically that you get this along with things like Invoke Despair and Burn Down the House into the graveyard. Uh, Mizzix Mastery your way back into them and hopefully get a lot of extra value. Now, what's nice about this version of this deck is that we also kind of just get to play them normally uh, because we've got things like Strike It Rich, which is a card we've got the full four. Normally you only see like two ofs of this uh, because it does help you get to that Mizzix Mastery a little bit quicker. But in our case, we actually get to go all out and go for the full four. And part of why this is so good is because we can invoke Calamity as well. So this is sort of an extra copy, so to speak, of Mizzix Mastery. It lets you play an instant, or up to two instant or sorcery cards with total mana value six or less. Uh, and what's so nice about this is we've got a lot of really good options. Uh, importantly, we've got Invoke Despair, Burn Down the House sitting at five mana, and then Faithless Looting and Strike It Rich sitting at one each. So there is a world where we actually get to hit two spells off of the Invoke Calamity, whether they're in our graveyard or in our hand, and then we can actually replay them uh, later on if we just get to play them out as they are. So very interesting little deck here. I'm not expecting all that much, I'll be honest, uh, but I do think this is kind of a fun one, and in, in practice at least. Uh, we've been able to get some really sneaky wins out of this because if you can get to the enough mana to overload the Mizzix Mastery, you get to do all of it. Uh, we've got to assemble the team in here to pull some big stuff. Cathartic Reunion, Cathartic Pyre. Uh, this gives us some removal. Cathartic Reunion gives us a little bit more draw. Uh, both of them allow us to discard, which is huge. Uh, of course, Faithless Looting, and then that Strike It Rich as well. So, kind of an interesting deck. You might be wondering, where's the win condition? <clears throat> uh, it's actually twofold. So, first is Burn Down the House. Ideally, if we just play this as is from our hand, and then get to replay it later, we can use it to create those little devil tokens, and hopefully just ping our way to the win. Uh, it, it also works very well in tandem with things like Invoke Despair because the opponent is going to be losing two life a lot of the time on the Invoke Despair thanks to Casualties of War. Uh, especially if we get to play them all at once, we really have to think about how we stack everything. Uh, so I'm really hoping we get to see that, but it is going to be an interesting one, guys, and hopefully a really fun one. I encourage you guys to stick around for it, have some fun with me. This is going to be a blast. Let's jump into the event right now. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. Now, this doesn't look like a crazy great hand. However, we do have a couple Faithless Lootings here and a Burn Down the House that we can ditch if we would like to. Uh, so I think we will try and go for it. I'm actually going to lead here. Uh, normally, I wouldn't. However, we do want to get quite a lot of the... Uh, I think we'll discard these two. Twi quite a lot of the uh, black lands out there because we again we do have both invoke despair and invoke calamity in the list uh, and so they're both pretty important for us now again here we just have a couple of faithless lootings in the graveyard and now a burn down the house not super exciting uh, but we do have another faithless looting available and hopefully we can draw something important here so all right let's do this I will go ahead and Faithless Looting again, um, and there we actually do get one of our big spells. I like that. Um, I suppose it's burned down the house. I'm not 100% sure. I do worry, anytime you're up against a black deck, you do have to worry about a lot of the like graveyard hate that you might be facing. Uh, and so that is something I'm trying to consider here, but it looks like the opponent might just be going for... Uh, I don't know, sort of an all-color deck, <laughs> which is a bit odd. I'm actually not going to go for anything this turn. We're just going to pass. Uh, next turn, we can actually just use Casualties of War if we want, depending on what they do. I don't just want to blow up a land, but in a deck like this, it's actually pretty important, it seems, for them to be hitting all of their lands. Uh, and 
all of their colors in particular, and it looks like that might not be as easy as they want it to be. Uh, but I assume they're a five color deck at this point. This is a, an odd one. Okay, they did scry one to the top. Interesting. What could this deck be? Uh, I might also just be a little slow and not be realizing it, but uh, let, let's do this. Um, I'm going to try and bait a little bit. We've got multiple Mizzix Masteries, so what I'm going to do is actually go here, uh, play the burn down the house for the three one ones, and we're going to start just taking down their life total by a little bit here. Um, may not be worth it. I'm not 100% sure what they're playing is my thing. Uh, it looks like sort of a five color-ish deck, potentially. I mean, I know we've only seen four so far, but I have to assume that if they're playing all of these little life gain lands, that there's something to that. Uh, oh yeah, shrines. Great. Lovely. All right, cool. Uh, so we are probably just gonna, gonna end up, uh, casualties of warring. Uh, an artifact, an enchantment, and a land this upcoming turn. Um, are we? That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Um, yeah, I think I will. I don't want them to have that shrine. Uh, in, in particular, this shrine is a very annoying one. Uh, so let's do... Whoops, let's not hit creature. <laughs> Uh, let's do that. All right, so let's get May Ma Maze Mind Tome. Uh, and I actually think we take out the red source. That's their only red source. Uh, and so we actually really remove the possibility of them having as much by just destroying that. Uh, so yeah, seems pretty straightforward. Definitely, anytime you're up against a deck like this where you've got multicolored stuff going on, uh, if you can cut them off of a color, generally it's a good idea to cut them off of a color. It's not always the case, obviously, that's a bit of an oversimplification, but it certainly is pretty important. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna Faithless Looting. Huh, that's interesting. Um, well, with that being the case, I think we actually discard these two. Uh, yeah. So we don't have a Mizzix Mastery, but again, we're at the point where we can kind of just start to play the Invoke Despair stuff right away. Uh, and start to take down what they've got going on, and that is certainly going to be the plan. They also did not have a land, which is so important. This is a very interesting deck that I find, like, I, I have seen, obviously, plenty of Shrines decks. If anybody has ever played Historic, even in, I, I mean, in recent years, we have seen this in other areas too, but um, if you played any amount of Historic, you have most likely seen the, uh, the deck that we're up against. Albeit, this seems like a very inefficient version um, from the standpoint of they're playing all these like tapped lands and stuff, which isn't great. Um, all that to say, though, uh, it seems like an odd, an odd deck to be playing, in particular in an event like this. Uh, oh yeah, this does do that, doesn't it? Okay. All right. Well, that's annoying. Uh, definitely just shouldn't have attacked. There was no reason to. Um, I forget about the Revenge of Ravens card, but yeah, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so this is just kind of an interesting one. Like, I just wouldn't have expected it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of this. I just don't want them to have it, basically. That's so good. <laughs> okay, excellent. Let's invoke Calamity. What we're gonna do is invoke Despair. Targeting them, and we'll Faithless Looting. So we're gonna Faithless Looting first, see what we get. Perfect. Uh, we get another Invoke Calamity, which I will take. Now this is gonna draw us a couple cards. We actually should have gone the other direction, I suppose, in Faithless Looting first, uh, but this works out just fine. Um, and now we can very freely attack in. Uh, and I think that's it. I think we just pass. We could have Faithless Looting to there, but I don't actually think we need to. They do. They are the five color deck, okay. I assumed, I mean, Shrines, you kind of need all five, but that's fine. Okay. That is really not that big of a deal. <laughs> They're playing pacifism? Like, what is this? Um, this just isn't a great version of this deck, I think. Um, I am gonna kill my own creature. 
Uh, solely so we can ping him for one, because it's going to be completely useless anyway. That was really not a good use of resources, like 100%, but that's fine. I actually want to mill cards, so thank you. Oh. Can we overload this? Five. Yeah, we can totally overload it. All right, sick. Let's do it. <laughs> well. <laughs> Immediate, immediate give up. Uh, yeah, that was exactly what we were trying to do. That was great. Uh, kind of an odd deck to see in an event like this. I wouldn't expect it to do very well, but uh, guys, we did it. We got a win at the very least, and we got to do the things. So very happy to see that. Let's move into game two. All right, guys, and here we are for our next game. Uh, and yeah, we will keep this. We've got the Cathartic Reunion. That's a really strong way of drawing quite a lot of cards very early, so I think that will be the game plan. We'll go ahead and play the Blood Crypt tapped. Nothing too crazy. Uh, and most likely we'll just pop that off on turn two here, but we'll see. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, hmm. Burn down the house is going to be really important, I imagine. Um, that also means not taking damage is going to be important. So I'm actually going to discard these two. Okay, we did not draw a Mizzix Mastery, however, we did get an Invoke Calamity, which is, you know, like, a reasonable enough way that we can play th some things here, so. There's the Burning Tree, sure. We also do have the Crucible of Defiance here, if we needed to, we could just, like, throw that out there for some blockers. I'd rather not, obviously. Okay, they got a Faithless Looting. That's fine. All right, um, I'm gonna go here, and I am gonna assemble the team. Um, most likely, again, we get whatever we need. I think we just get a Mizzix Mastery. Importantly, they don't see what that card is. Um, I think they can probably assume that we're a Mizzix Mastery deck based on us discarding Burn Down the House, but we'll see. That actually is a big frustration. Don't love that. And they got an Invoke Despair, wow, okay. Um, yeah, don't love that, but we're gonna have to go this route. Uh, there's really not a whole lot else we can do, so let's do this. We're gonna burn down the house, just sweep the board. They're gonna get some little guys in response, I believe. That's how that works. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, there we go. I thought so. So they get five little one ones. That's so frustrating. Um... We do have the Invoke Despair. That's not super helpful against a board full of 1-1s. One you know what I mean? Like, so what? Um, I'd rather just have another, like, burn down the house. <laughs> Which we can assemble the team for and, like, see if we get one. That's why this card is in the deck, right? Is because it does... It's sort of a toolbox card, and this is a semi-toolboxy style deck, right? Like, so... If we find ourselves up against a deck like this, we obviously want Burn Down the House, and therefore we've got to assemble the team as a way to either get the Mizzix Mastery to replay the Burn Down the House, or vice versa. Additionally, against decks that are like more spread out or are having or do have, excuse me, multiple pieces of you know like enchantment, artifact, planeswalker, stuff like that, long-term control decks, stuff like that. Uh, it's nice to actually have, you know, the other uh, the the casualties of war, that kind of stuff. Um, so what do we do? Because we're pretty dead. Um, and that might just be it, right? We might just be dead. I think we do play this. Uh, I'll see what we can draw, but there's there's nothing. I think we're pretty dead here, uh, which is fine. Yeah, there, there was the burn down the house. That's unfortunate. Um, I mean, we take it, but we're dead, basically. I'll do this, and I'll actually discard these two. Let's see what we get. There is a world where they just don't have burn spells, but I'm guaranteeing that's a pretty pretty thin margin of opportunity for us to be able to take down this, <laughs> this deck. All right, we pass and probably just die. They also, yeah, they, were, yeah, they got us. All right, I'm gonna good game it. They definitely just had us there. 
Uh, kind of wish we hadn't discarded the first burn down the house. I think we needed to to be able to play it a turn early uh, with the Mizzix Mastery, so I think we had to, but uh, if we had held it in the hand, we would have been able to play it, then play it again, which might have been helpful. So regardless, it is what it is. We're one and one. Let's jump into game three. All right, guys, and here we are for our next game. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't think we can keep this hand. This is a little rough. Uh, if we had any low ground stuff, I would say, yeah, let's keep it. But I don't think we can. Uh, this one, we actually can. Uh, it's not great, but we can keep it. Uh, I think we throw one of you back. We need every land we can get here. All right, let's see what the opponent is up to. Okay. Um, hmm. I think I will just lead with the stomping or the proving ground here and we'll see what they do. Uh, it looks like this is going to be the like mono brown uh, artifact deck, uh, in which case casualties of war and invoke despair should both be quite good, but we do need to hit them early. Uh, so really and truly maybe the right play would have been uh, seer step pathway into faithless looting just to get something in the graveyard that then we could reanimate and get further into the deck. That would have been probably better, uh, but that's okay. We'll do the best we can. All right. Let's Faithless Looting now. Draw two. Put one of each in the graveyard. Oops. We'll go ahead and play the uh, Stomping Ground tapped here. So we do have the opportunity to just go Faithless Looting again, which is not bad. Uh, we also just have Cathartic Fire, also not bad. Um, I think the play will be to Faithless Looting, though. Let's use our mana efficiently uh, to the best of our ability. I think that's for the best. Um, and this is actually looking okay. So next turn, we can assemble the team, hope to find a Mizzix Mastery, and then basically wreck them to the best of our ability with the Casualties of War. Uh, they did not play a Land last turn. Uh, so we do have an opportunity here. I mean, they are ramping, obviously. They've got more mana on the field than we do. Ah, there it is. Okay. Interesting. So now Invoke Despair maybe is looking like the right call. Uh, would they get Golos? Sure. Golos is quite good. Um, we can also just Cathartic Pyre this. So there's, there's potential for us to just do that instead, which might be better. Uh, we are going to assemble the team. Is this not going through? I feel like it's not going through. Am I wrong? Okay, no, it's on them. I was gonna say, I feel like, I don't know. They're they're playing a little slow. Maybe that's just, you know, connection issues, whatever it might be. Uh, I assume they don't have anything for one colorless at instant speed, but maybe I'm wrong. Excellent. So, uh, I do think it's just Mizzix Mastery. I don't think we have to over-concern ourselves with that so let's pay two here i will go ahead and just basically bolt this to get the uh karn off the field i don't want them to have an extra uh planeswalker on the field and be able to do a lot more with it chances are they are just going to run golos out uh which is fine actually because of invoke despair or casualties either way i think casualties is probably our best bet um in this instance, we get a little bit more value out of it because we actually are going to be able to most likely kill a creature, a land, whatever land they get, and just, you know, a random artifact, which I'll take. Um, and I do think it's actually maybe the idol is the best one to kill. I'm not 100% sure. Um, ooh, world tree. Allow me to destroy that. Uh, also, just drawing a Mizzix Mastery there is so good. <laughs> Uh, because it'll allow us to do this again, uh, which is awesome. All right, target artifact, idol, target creature, world tree. Go away. All right, uh, might have been worth it, I guess, to hit a... Well, no, they're gonna they're gonna be able to bring it back regardless. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah, they've got three of these. That's fine. Uh, if they spend their turn just, you know, rebuilding, that's kind of great. Um, so what is our best bet? Got some really good stuff in the graveyard. 
Um, we're probably not... Uh, we might find a way to burn down the house. We could just pass. Um, yeah, weirdly, I think I'm just gonna pass. I don't love that. I would love to burn down the house and start pressuring them, but I don't think we're there yet. Uh, they are gonna have more heavy hitters than we are. I'd like for them to get them on the field so we can uh, do something about it and hopefully leave them kind of stranded with very little. Uh, the Buried Ruin is really annoying. All three of them. <laughs> That's fine. Don't particularly care about that. I do wish we had a destroy all artifacts. That'd be kind of sick, but all right. Okay, uh, in this instance now, we can basically just freebie go for this. I'd actually really just like to hit lands, but I don't want to use up these Cathartic Pyres yet. Uh, I guess we could discard a Cathartic Pyre and a Burn Down the House to get it, but I don't know. I think the, the plan right now is just going to be to punch in for as much as we can, and if they pop the Blast Zone, great. It just solves the problem for us. Okay, what are they returning? Goldos? That's fine. Just going to attack for three, get a little bit of chip damage in, um, because, again, we, we do need to need to finish them off at some point here. Oh, excellent. Okay. Invoke Calamity. That is quite good. Um, it's only going to hit an Invoke Despair, but... Oh, we can't even play it. I'm, I'm dumb. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna attack them. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm just gonna kill the creature. That's fine. And, yeah, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and do this. This might be wrong. I have no idea. We're gonna do it. All right, getting there very slowly, but we are getting there. Uh, this weirdly has so much in terms of removal options. It's pretty awesome, uh, but we'll see what the opponent's up to this turn. They might just go for Golos. They can get another world tree, which seems pretty good. Or they're just gonna keep ramping. Okay, that's fine. So because we have another casualties in our deck or in the graveyard, we can actually solve for this as well. Oh, that's an indestructible land. They were smart. They were very smart. Okay. Um, we are not hitting lands, which really sucks. Uh, and so we're going to take a bit of a gamble. I'm going to discard these two. Give me an untapped land. Cool. That was super helpful. Now we're going to Mizzix Mastery. Do we want to draw cards? Because technically that's not a bad way to do it. Um, no, I'm going to Casualties. Alright, we're going to blow up target creature, target land. Alright, artifacts. I think it's this. Target creature, and we'll get a Buried Ruin off the field. It's only one, it kind of sucks, but we're basically just trying to slow him down a little bit. We've got the Invoke Calamity, so we actually get to replay some stuff here as well um, from our graveyard at some point, so that'll be helpful. It's turning into a pretty sick game, actually. <laughs> uh, all right. Choose one. Okay, well, they're both the exact same, so you get that one. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see what they do. Opponent playing a little slow. My dog wants to go out right now. So at the moment, uh, I am neglecting my dog very slightly. I need to go let her out after this game. <laughs> oh man, what a time. What a time. All right, opponent, come on. <laughs> Don't just... You got two mana. There's only so much you can do. Cool. <laughs> All right, we're going to invoke Calamity uh, and probably just play an Invoke Despair. 
Um, but we do kind of need to get something going here, and this is going to be the easiest way to do it. We also get to draw some cards, so that'll be helpful. Oh my goodness. Maxi, dude. Come on. You got this. You can do it. I know I'm being rude. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be rude. But... You, you can't do anything. I can't imagine you have two mana, two colorless mana worth of much. Let's see what they got. Guys, I hope you're all doing well today. I hope you all are subscribed to the channel for that 10,000k giveaway. I really appreciate that. John, I know, would appreciate it. We've got some awesome prizes. We've got standard boxes that we're going to be giving away. we got a secret layer that we're going to be giving away. The 30th anniversary secret layer. Uh, which has the Sharknado in it, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. John, correct me in the comments. Uh, and we have got some altars, things like that, that we're throwing in. And we're going to pick three winners, which is something I don't believe, at least, we've ever done before. I don't think we've ever picked three winners at once. Normally, we just pick one. Uh, it looks like the opponent has timed out. Uh, so normally, we only pick one. Um... But in this case, you know what? We figured let's do it. Let's do things differently this year for 2023. Let's try and hit 10K sub goal. And let's make sure that we get more stuff out to more people. Uh, and this is how we get to do it. And so it's pretty exciting. Um, so yeah, if you're not subscribed, if you're enjoying the video, if you want to see more, please feel free to subscribe. It really would help us out a lot. And hopefully, of course, you guys enjoy it as well. Uh, yeah, we're definitely just going to invoke... Uh, cool. Wow, like, worst draws ever. Two cathartic reunions are not great. Uh, we did get rid of Karn, which I will take, but it looks like the opponent might have just timed out. Uh, I don't know. But we're gonna wait it out, and then I'm gonna let my dog out so I'm not a neglectful dog father. <laughs> I don't want to be a neglectful dog father. <laughs> Oh, goodness. We will see. <laughs> Alright. This video is going to be much longer than it needed to be because of this, though. I will say that. Uh, guys, I really do appreciate everybody hopefully having a good time with these videos and these events. I know we changed a lot up this year, including just the normal gameplay. We got full events going now instead of just a couple games and... Uh, I know John being on the live stream at least twice a week, he's got more plans coming. And there we go. We got a win. I don't know what happened. They disconnected, I suppose. Uh, but hey, we got a win. That puts us at 2 and 1, guys. I'm going to go let the dog out, and then I will be right back. All right, guys. Here we are for our next game, and unfortunately, not a good keep. We're going to have to mulligan that one back. Ooh, jeez. Um, <laughs> I think, oh, this is terrible too. I'm gonna keep it because I don't wanna go down one more card. Uh, this isn't, I mean, it's a deck where you can mulligan pretty heavily if you've got the right pieces, but it's such a risk uh, that I just don't feel like it's worth trying for. I think we just go for it and we see what the best option is. Uh, weirdly not bad, actually. I will take that. So that ramps us a little bit. Next turn we can ramp even more, get the Invoke Despair down. Uh, the following turn, and then be able to Mizzix Mastery again. Oh! Interesting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and strike it, Rich. Let's maximize mana here. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh no, the opponent has nothing. Uh, they're gonna have to discard. They've only got one land. They kept a one lander? Why would you do that? Um... I don't think we actually need to do anything yet. Yeah, I think we just pass. Like, if we can help it, we don't really want to pop these tokens. You know what I mean? So I feel like we are in a position right now where it's better to just kind of wait. And we'll see what happens. They found a white source. That's good for them. Um... All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually invoke despair now because we don't have to pop the treasure tokens to do it, which is pretty important. Uh, no land, that's fine. We'll just pass. Uh, we've got Strike It Rich and Cathartic Pyre both as really good options and they find themselves another land with the Birth of Miletus. That's a great card. 
Um, hmm. This is going to be an interesting game. Without a doubt. Okay. Um, I'm going to strike it rich. And then I think we're actually going to use one of our treasure tokens to invoke Calamity. And what we're actually going to do... Um, we're going to go this route. Alright. So this is going to make them sacrifice the birth of Miletus. Granted, they do have the lands on the field, but we also get to draw a couple cards and get a treasure token out of the deal. Uh, which seems really good, and now we can just do that and... You know. Now we've got all the black sources we could possibly need. We've also got all the red sources we could possibly need. Oh good. We can super kill that. Do I just do this now? Yeah, I think so. Actually, nah. Yeah, I guess we do. Um, just in case. It looks like this is going to be the enchantment stack. If they're playing a Satessan champion, I have to assume that's kind of what this is. Um, but we will see. Faithless looting. Yeah, let's go Faithless looting. Discard you. And I think just a Cathartic Fire. Um, do we even want to do anything here? Uh, I'll play Faithless looting again, I think. Assemble the team. I think we can discard that, because we'll most likely just end up playing it off of the uh, Mizzix Mastery. Yeah, alright, cool. Alright, so now we've got a good handful of things in the, the graveyard that we'll be able to play off of the uh, Mizzix Mastery here, which I think will be good. We we don't really have to over-worry about this. Um, I am going to pay two, because again, I want to save as many of the treasure tokens as we can. Alright, um... Let's do this in the right order. Uh, let's... Okay, we are going to... Let's make sure. I guess we do this. 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 Oh, and they just give up. Alright! We did it! Yeah! <laughs> Again, the power of the deck is kind of there. Uh, that was weird. That was a strange one. It wasn't the best overloaded Mizzix Mastery, but it certainly was going to do the job. They only had three lands on the battlefield. Like, I had to assume that was going to be pretty reasonable. We're up to three and one, guys. Let's see if we can keep it going. All right, guys. Here we are for our next game. And yeah, this is definitely a keep. This seems great. Um, we'll go ahead and play a Proving Ground to start, and next turn we've got Faithless Leading available, so we're, we should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and Faithless Leading first. Nope, 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 wrong. Correct. Alright, sick. Uh, let's go ahead and play another Proving Ground here. And let's see what happens. Um, we've got the Invoke Calamity, which is pretty solid. This isn't gonna hit a thing. <laughs> Uh, which is pretty great. Um, awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright, uh, I'm actually not going to take the two here, um, just so we can Faithless Looting. We actually get to play the Faithless Looting off of the Invoke Calamity anyway. Um, so, I'm not going to overthink that. Uh, do we Casualties this turn? Probably, right? So, let's go here. Let's, let's Mizzix Mastery. Let's go Casualties. Let's go. Alright, sick. Target creature, target enchantments, and... I think we actually have to blow up the Hive. Um, that's actually a much scarier card than anything any of these other lands, and if they want to play a black spell, now they have to ping themselves, unless they have a... Yeah, that's fine. It's not a man land, so that's fine. <laughs> cool. Uh, do we just do it again, or do we invoke Calamity? I think we invoke Calamity. Let's play Invoke Despair. And Faithless Looting. Okay. Um, I actually kind of want to hold the casualties, right? Uh, mm-mm. I think we can discard that pretty safely. 
I want to hold the burn down the house too, because, I mean, you know, you never know what you're going to need. There's another Invoke Calamity. Man, the replayability of this is, like, kind of stupid. Um, <laughs> it's, this is awesome. Alright. Great. Very good. Um, so we can just straight play Casualties of War, which I think we will. Destroy this, destroy this. That's fine, I don't particularly care. Um, every time we play Casualties, we get a little bit further ahead, mostly because they are down on lands, right? So now they're not at four. Pyromancer is a great way to dig back into your deck, though. That's pretty solid. All right. Um, it's also a really good way to get really burnt out by a burn down the house, which we will use. Easy enough. All right, uh, cool. <laughs> they can just, of course, exile it from the graveyard, but they do need five mana to do it, and they don't have five mana, so. Uh, kind of curious what they actually hit here. Um, I don't actually think it matters that much. Okay. Um, yeah, whoops. That's fine, I guess. I don't love that, of course, but, like, it's fine. Uh, man lands might be useful in this deck also. That's one thing we should probably consider. Um, I think we take the casualties and leave the others. I think. I'm not sure. Oh, man. Come on. You have two Croxes? Why do you have two? Um, all right. Well, that sucks. Oh, all right. Cool. That helps. <laughs> um, what's in our graveyard, though? So, I'm actually going to go for this. Uh, mostly because at this point, like, they only have a couple cards in hand. They could get a Croxa down, but we actually have ways to bring casualties back. I mean, we could have just kept them off of it even longer, but I think this is kind of okay. Um, as long as we get, like, a Mizzix Mastery or something, we should be fine. Here comes the Croxa. No doubt. Uh, which is the right call. Uh, and in, in hindsight, maybe casualties was better just to take them off of the, the land draw. Uh, that certainly was an option. Um, I also didn't really just want to play a casualties and only hit a land. Uh, like, that's very little value for it. But, I mean, it very easily could have been the right play as we are seeing right now. Land is not great, uh, so that's a pass for us. Actually, we should have probably played this, because it's just going to get discarded anyway, but that's fine. Uh, let's do this. All right. Uh, it's kind of like we could draw a couple of different things. Mizzix Mastery would be the best. Um, Invoke Calamity is always good. That is not. Um, it would have been helpful to get like an assemble the team. Kind of just any major spell would be fine. Any draw spell would be garbage, obviously. I think we saved the six. Probably could have gone here as well, but I'm trying to keep something around here. Um yeah, I think they're probably just going to take it over because we're not drawing what we need to draw. There's just no way. Uh, again, Mizzix Mastery is probably still just the best. Wow, they just haven't... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. Oh, God, that was so stupid. Uh, Should have definitely blocked here. Oh, well. They got us. That was fine. Uh, that was just a missed opportunity on our end. We could have at least gotten one more turn. I'm not saying we would have won, but we had outs. Uh, so, unfortunately, that's going to put us at 3-2, and two, guys. Let's see if we can jump into another one and get another win. But the next game is a big one. It's either going to be our wins to keep going or our loss to jump out. So, let's see what we do. All right, guys. Here we are for our next game. And this is a great keep, actually. Uh, we've got the Faithless Looting turn 1 to get the Invoke Despair in the graveyard. And then we just have Mizzix Mastery as well. Um... I think we actually just discard a land. It's kind of odd, but I don't really want to discard the Invoke Calamity. Again, that, that's kind of our backup plan, right? So 
Uh, discarding that doesn't seem ideal. I'm just going to play the Proving Ground here. We do need another land, and I know I just set discarded one. Um, but let's do this first. They might have a counter. They don't. Okay, good. Interesting. Um, I'll discard and invoke Calamity, I suppose. Kind of odd that we have not drawn many lands, uh, but sure. Not a lot we can do about it. The opponent has to assume that we are a graveyard focus deck if we're throwing these back and Faithless looting. <laughs> um, so I do assume that they know we're going to try and go for a Mizzix Mastery at some point, but... Oh, very good. That's one way to do it. Uh, that shuts down our draw pretty hef pretty heavily. Um, and they pull a Dovin's Veto. And still nothing. Wow. Uh, that's really bad. Uh, I'm really regretting discarding a land. We do run 24 in the deck because, again, we're kind of topping out at 4 and 5. Uh, I mean, we do have 6 mana stuff, but we're not actually trying to play it at 6 mana. And we do have Strike It Rich, so the assumption is that we probably will hit things earlier. Oh no. And we can't play Faithless Looting. Keep in mind, guys, we can't draw more than one card every turn thanks to Narset. So this is, I mean, we're stuck. And they have a Dovin's Veto available. Uh, so that's not good. <laughs> All right, uh, well, we did get a land, um, but unfortunately, again, it's not actually worth it to go for the Mizzix Mastery yet because they just have a Dovin's Veto. <sighs> this is going to suck. I think this is going to be the loss, guys. Okay, Wandering Emperor, sure. Seems good. Oh, this is going to be terrible. All right, they do take the two. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. Um, if we get a land, we can go for it. Jeez. Oh, Alright, you know what? They're gonna counter it, and it's fine. But we're gonna go for a burn down the house this way. And let them counter it. There's nothing else we can really do, so... Might as well. Oh, they just have Dwari Disruption. Perfect. Even better. Wow, what a great spell. Um, okay, well. Guys, this has been a fun deck. Uh, I don't think this is going to be our game, but you know what? We did reasonably well with it, considering this is really a janky style deck. I don't think this is a very good deck, um, but it is really fun. It's a very, very fun deck. Uh, and so if anybody is interested in playing this one, of course the list will be linked down below as it always is. Highly encourage you to try this. Um, highly, highly encourage you to try this. It's such a blast, such a blast. Uh, definitely could use a little bit of teching out and tooling out. So if that's something you're interested in doing, of course, please do. Uh, and feel free to share it back with me because I will, I. I I don't normally keep a lot of decks around, but this is one of those where I feel like, you know what? I, I like this one. This is one that I put together and I really like it. Um, so I think we lose next turn regardless of what we do. Yeah, I mean, let them counter it. I'm in a good game I'm here, guys. Unfortunately, that is going to be the end. But you know what? It was still a blast. I do encourage, again, everybody try this one out. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel because, again, we do have that 10,000k giveaway going on right now once we hit that we will be selecting three random subscribers for the winners of that giveaway uh and again it's going to include standard boxes it's going to include whatever the standard set is at the time uh the secret layer and some altars as well as probably some other stuff we haven't even fully decided all of the prizes yet but we know those are going to be included so definitely check that out guys but thank you all so much for watching have a fantastic friday i'll see you guys again hopefully very soon maybe on monday with another gameplay video bye guys